Oh yeah, Mr. Mel in the house, y'all. Come on. So today we're making these keto rolls that I've been baking and as you all know, in every video at the start of the show, we say two words and let the music roll. So turn the volume all the way up and join in my flow. Come on, say it with me. Let's go. Look, all I'm really asking is we're in a contract that says that I'm supposed to act like a trained What? You're rolling. Hi guys, Chris here, AKA Mr. Mel. Back for another video. I've actually done one of these before where I took one of Mel's recipes and tried to see if A, I could make it, or B, I could turn it into something new. And I turned that one into bagels. If you click the link up here, you can watch that video. And today what I'm going to do is take the basic oat fiber recipe that Mel's been playing around with lately and turn that into hot dog buns. So without further ado, let's get into the recipe now. All right, so first up, just to prove to you that these are not Mel's hands, Mel's arms are not that hairy. And also, uh, Mel's gloves don't fit me, so I'm using a pair from my side hustle as a magician. In the big bowl, we have 70 grams of oat fiber. And to that, we're going to add 50 grams of psyllium husk powder, 14 grams of baking powder, two grams of salt, four grams of sweetener, and four grams of instant dried yeast. And if you want the imperial measurements or the cup, you know, and tablespoon measurements, etc., they're in the description box. And now you must whisk it, whisk it good, until it's all one color. Now for the wet ingredients. We've got three eggs at room temperature, 250 grams of lukewarm water, and 25 grams of white vinegar. And whisk all that to combine it together. Once you've done that, add it into the dry ingredients and give it a good mix. Making sure you stop every now and then to scrape down the sides of the bowl so that everything is mixed evenly. Go look at me go, I'm a professional. And once you've mixed it all together, this is what it should look like. It's a firm dough, but still very, very pliable. And we want to leave it now for five minutes to rest. All your hands up with a keto approved oil, and in this case, I'm using avocado. And this just stops the dough sticking to your hands. Weigh the dough out. And in my case, the dough weighs, let's see, 569 grams. And I'm making four hot dog buns, so I'm going to draw and quarter this, which means each one will weigh between 141 and 142 grams each. Now, oil your hands up again with the keto approved oil. In this case, again, I'm using avocado. And start to mold your dough into the shape of the hot dog pan. These cool little pans Mel got from Chef Made, and there is a link in the description box below. Once it's roughly to the size of the hot dog pan, you want to just oil your hands again. And the reason we're doing this is we're going to oil the outside of the dough to make it as slippery slash non-stick as possible. And then place that down into the hot dog pan. Now what we need to do is to press it down into the pan so it follows the shape of the pan as best as possible. Look, there's really no elegant way to do this. The dough moves around more than Slimer from Ghostbusters, but do the best you can. I'm not a perfectionist by any stretch of the imagination. Just get it in there as evenly and smoothly as you can. I've now got a oven rack with a silicone mat on top. And the reason I've done that is so that the air from the oven can flow underneath the rack and heat the bottom evenly. And also when I place the pans on there and you know, transport it from the bench to the oven, it means that the pans won't fall off. Well, look at that. What a perfectly spaced bunch of hot dog buns. And into the oven it goes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 180 degrees Celsius for mine took 40 minutes. Yours may take a little bit less or more just depending on your oven. So just keep an eye on it. And fresh out the oven, you can see that they are nice and soft. And we're going to cut into one now. 
and it sunk a little bit on the inside but overall I'm not too unhappy with that and what I'm going to do now is add some onions to it I'm so elegant with this and add my sausage on top and some garlic aioli God, I know I've just given half of you anxiety with the way that I've done this, but nonetheless, there we go, a guy's hot dog. So there we go, guys. They didn't turn out too bad after all. You know how you get those people who say, oh, cooking's so therapeutic or gardening's therapeutic? I'm not one of those people. I'm not a cook at all. I normally find the process very stressful, but I actually enjoyed this. It's a very, very simple recipe. It comes together very easily. It's fairly intuitive, even if you're not a baker or a cook so i hope you guys get to try it if you do please send us some pictures on either facebook or instagram and mel gets a real kick out of seeing what you guys make so she'll put those pictures into the community section of our channel thanks so much for watching stay safe and be well now really we have to talk about this